Hello my dear friends, welcome in our channel Best Notes Tutorials and if you remember in my last video I had done only half of the literary theories so MCQs on literary theories so today I am going to continue from there and we will move to day 13's MCQs so I hope you all remember these uh, question answers please do the revision uh, regularly otherwise whatever you have learned you might forget it so you have to give importance to the highlighters than the answer itself because highlighter says more about the topic than the answer so let us move towards the question number 16 which we have to start today okay till question number 15 I have done and uh, question number 16 I am going to start so let's begin give me a second uh, 15 and here 16 okay let's begin question number 16 which among the following statement is not true here option A is lang means well defined language and parole means language individual language. Option B signifier is a concept whereas signified is image. Option C synchronic is related to comparison of language whereas diachronic is about change in the meaning of words over time. Option D Syntagmatic is relationships science is relationship science occur in sequence or parallel and paradigmatic is in the individual sign may be replaced by another. So here your answer is option B that is signifier is a concept whereas signified is image. Long it means language as an abstract system it is well defined homogeneous object language is a system of sign that expresses ideas and is therefore comparable to a system of writing the alphabet of deaf mutes symbolic rites polite formulas and military signals etc Parole is, it indicates speech, it is an individual language, it is predictable speech. Writing is also an example of parole because each act of writing a letter, word or sentence is similar to voicing a letter or voicing a letter on sentence. Synchronic means uh, it is a comparison of languages or how languages compare to each other at any given point of time. Diachronic is change in the meaning of words over time. It is based in the dictionary meaning of words whereas syntagmatic means relationship signs occur in sequence or parallel and operate together to create meanings the sequential nature of language is also called this paradigmatic in it individual sign may be replaced by another sign means anything that conveys meaning essentially it is arbitrary signifier means it is a word or alphabet which arranged in particular order example flower it is a word signified it is a concept of an image where the signifier stands for example the image plus sorry image we create in mind or we see flower Question number 17, the dialogue, dialogic imagination is a work by Bakhtin, 
which of the following concept is not belong to this work dialogue sorry dialogism next is heteroglossia option c parody and option d chronotop so here the dialogic imagination it is a compile it, it is compiled of four essays concerning language and the novel epic and novel which was published in 1941 from the prehistory of novelistic discourse which was published in 1940 forms of time and the chronotope in the novel is published within 1937 to 1938 discourse in the novel was published in 1935 to 30 sorry 34 to 35 in this work bakhtin introduces the concept of heteroglossia dialogism chronotope and carnivalesque heteroglossia it is the coexistence of distinct varieties within a single language it appeared in bakhtin's essay discourse in the novel that was published in the year 1940 1934 to 35 uh, let's see dialogism the dialogue the, the sorry the dialogic work carries a continual dialogue with other works of literature and other authors it appeared in bakhtin's essay the dialogic imagination chronotop it is about how configurations of time and space are represented in language and discourse carnivalesque means it is a library mode that subverts and uh, liberates the assumption of the dominant style or atmosphere through humor and chaos it is related with the feast of fools the four categories of carnivalesque sense of the world are familiar and free interaction between people eccentric behavior carnivalistic misalliances then sacrilegious its important characteristics are a liberation from the prevailing truth and established order emphasis on play parody pleasure and the body the suspension of all hierarchical rank principles norms and prohibitions which of the following statement is not correct about problems of dostoyevsky's poet poetics option a the concept of unfinalizable self is a concept used in this work option b the idea of the relationship between self and others concept is if two people disagree at least one of them must be in error option c the concept of polyphony is also used in this work option d carnivalesque is the concept used in the work so here option d is the correct answer that is carnivalesque is the correct used sorry concept used in the in this work problems of dostoyevsky's poetries poetics when problems of dostoyevsky's art was translated into english bakhtin added a chapter on the concept of carnival according to him carnival is the context in which distinct individual force a voices are heard flourished and interacted together in this work bakhtin introduced three important concepts the concept of finalizable self according to this concept a person is never fully revealed to the world the idea of the language between self and others 
According to this concept, every people is influenced by another in an intervened way. Concept of polyphony. Concept of polyphony. According to this concept, if two people disagree at one of them, must be in error. Question number nineteen: Who among the following writers is not does not belong to works post structural structuralism? Question number nineteen: Who among the following writers does not belong to post structuralism? Option A: Ronald Barth. Option B: Judith Butler. Option C. Gilles Deleuze and option D Richards. So here, let's see the highlighters because the answer is option D. I A Richards. Post structuralism was um, seen in the year nineteen sixties. It is an intellectual movement which argued that human culture may be understood by means of a structure modeled on language that differs from concrete reality and from abstract idea, a third order that mediates between the two. It follows the theory of Derrida's deconstruction. It is a level formulated by American academics. to denote the heterogeneous works of a series of mid 20th century french continental philosophers and critical theorists who came to international provinces sorry prominence in the 1960s and 1970s post structuralism began with jacques derrida who adopts notion of saussure's difference and changes it to difference writers whose work are characterized as post structuralist include ronald barth jacques derrida michael foucault judith butler jacques lacan gilles deleuze jean baudrillard and julia kristeva Let's move to question number twenty. A text which draws attention to its artifice, to the way in which it is structured about. It is called option A, readerly text; option B, writerly text; option C, the scripture, sorry, scripter, and option D, the author. So here. a text which draws attention to its artifice to the way in which it is structured structured is called writerly text readerly text it is a text that makes no requirement to reader to write or produce their own meaning the reader may passively locate ready made meaning writerly text it is a text that aspires to the proper goal of literature and criticism to make the reader no longer a consumer but a producer of the text in other words a text which draws attention to its artifice to the way in which it is structured writerly text and uh, ways of reading constitute in short and active rather than culture and its text question number 21 foucault criticizes the repressive hypothesis the idea that western society suppressed sexuality from the 17th to the mid 20th century due to option a the rise of culture and bourgeois society option b the rise of currency and bourgeois society option c the rise of consciousness and bourgeois society option d which is our correct answer the rise of capitalism and bourgeois society
So here, as I have already told you, option D is the correct answer. Let's move towards the highlighters. The history of sexuality. Foucault's work in four volumes study of Foucault's work in four volumes study of sexuality in the Western world. The volumes are The Will to Knowledge, first volume, first published in 1976 in England, translated in 1978. The Use of Pleasure in 1984, The Care of the Self in 1984 again, Confessions of the Flesh was the fourth volume which was published published posthumously in 2018. In volume 1, Foucault criticizes the repressive hypothesis, the idea that Western society suppressed sexuality from the 17th to mid 20th century. Due to the rise of capitalism and the bourgeois society and the volume second and volume third, Foucault addresses the role of Greek and Roman antiquity. He raised three doubts about repressive hypothesis. First doubt, is what first coming into view and consequently permits one to advance an initial hypothesis. Really, the accentuation or even the establishment of a regime of sexual repression begin, beginning in 17th century. Second doubt, do the working of power and in particular the mechanisms that are brought into play in society such as ours really belong primarily to the category of repression? Are prohibition, censorship and denial truly the forms through which power is exercised in a general way? Doubt 3, that is third doubt, did the critical discourse that addresses itself to repression comes to act as a roadblock to a power mechanism that had operated unchallenged up to that point or it is not in fact part of same historical network as the thing it denounces by calling it repression let's move to let's move to question number 22 history of madness in the classical age he has traced madness through three phases which among the following is not does not belong to the phase option a enlightenment option b renaissance option c modern age and option d classical age here your answer is option a that is enlightenment let's see the highlighters for this answer history of madness in the classical age was published in 1961 Foucault's first major work in which he has traced madness through three phases, Renaissance, Classical Age, Modern Age. Foucault stated that madness is not a natural unchanging thing but rather depends on society in which it exists. Question number 23. It is an unresolvable difficulty that is spring up while reading a text it is option a difference aporia logocentrism and option d concept of madness here your answer is aporia aporia is an unresolvable difficulty that is spring up while reading a text Aporia is the answer and it is a Greek term which was used by Derrida to refer blind spots of any metaphysical argument. It is a logical contradiction beyond rational resolution or a point of undecidability. 
it is an unresolvable difficulty <coughs> that spring up while reading a text question number 24 arrange the work of derrida in chronological order option a a test for the secret class then of grammatology class arts of literature next is option b of grammatology class a test for the secret arts of literature option c class of grammatology a test for the secret arts of literature next is class of grammatology arts of literature and taste of the secret here option d that is class came first then of grammatology then arts of literature and a test for this secret is the correct sequence there is a there does important works are structure sign and play in the discourse of human sciences which is published in 1966 Dissemination was published in 1972. Speech and Phenomena and other essays on Husserl's theory of sign was published in 1973. Glass was published in 1974. Of Grammatology was published in 1976 in English and in French language in 1967. Writing and difference was the next writing. The postcard from Socrates to from from sorry okay there is a spelling mistake from Socrates to Freud and beyond that was published in nineteen eighty. Limited ink was published in nineteen eighty eight. Of spirit. Heidegger and the question. Next was the work of Morning. On the right of philosophy was published in 1990. And next is Art of Literature, in which is published in 1991. Spectres of Max, The State of Debt, The Work of Morning, The New International was next work. Achiever Fever of Friedrichin. Impression was published in 1976. A test for the secret was published in 2001. Last question is question number 25. This theory belongs to psychoanalysis and is divided the psyche into the ego and superego. It is option A topographic theory, ego psychology, option C meta geo meta theory and option d structural theory there are different theories topographic theory says in the interpretation of dreams in 1900 simon freud had was named and first described his theory the theory hypothesizes and states that the mental apparatus can be divided into the systems namely conscious, pre-conscious and unconscious. It divides the psyche into the id, ego and superego. The id is present at birth at the repository of basic instincts which Freud called thieves or drives the consciousness, the unconsciousness. The ego and the superego both are partly conscious and partly unconscious. Ego psychology is It was initially suggested by Freud in inhibitions, symptoms and anxiety in the year 1920. The theory was refined by Hartman in 1939 to 1960. Friends, by this we have completed Literary Theories MCQ of Day 12th and uh, if you wish to get these notes in your PDF form, 
then please contact us we will be there to provide the notes to you all all the best for your examination thank you so much now we will start with the mcqs of day 13 so please be attentive question number 1 day 13 question number 1 which of the following statement is not correct about karl marx option a he divided his philosophy into idealists that is plato and aristotle and the materialists option b marx introduced the dialectical materialism option c the mechanical materialist basically thinks of life in terms of newtonic physics option d he stated three kinds of materialists mechanical dialectical and socio culturalism so here option d is the correct answer he stated three kinds of materialists mechanical dialectical and socio culturalism let's see the highlighters Karl Marx was born in 1818 and he died on 1883. He was a German philosopher. Divided, he divided his philosophy into idealists and the materialists. There are two kinds of materialists, mechanical and dialectical. The mechanical materialists basically thinks of life in terms of Newtonic physics. Everything is predetermined and predictable if only we had the apparatus to adequately comprehend it all, apprehend it all. Marx introduced the dialectical materialism. He possesses that the world as we know it is the product of a dialectical process which proceeds by means of thesis and antithesis leading to synthesis which is which in turn becoming a new thesis leading to an antithesis and so on the material item in our world actually determines our beliefs and ideas marx believed that economic determinism dialectical materialism and class struggle were the three principles that explained his theory the classes that control means of production bourgeoisie dominant rich class dominant rich class control and own the means of production the proletariat subordinate class don't control and own the means of production the only class who engaged in hostile interaction to achieve class consciousness Karl Marx and Frederick Engels collaborated production they collaborated to produce following ideologies and theories the communist manifest and preface to the contribution to the critique of political economy das capital which is published in the year 1967 third in three volumes question number two which of the following is not correct about frederick jameson he is an american literary critic and a marxist political theorist Option B, Archaeologies of the Future is written by him. Option C, he described postmodernism as the specialization of culture. Option D, the Modernist Papers is jointly written with Marx. And here, Option D, that is the Modernist Papers, is jointly written with Marx. Option D is the correct answer. Let's see the highlighters. Frederick Jameson was born in 1934. He is an American literary critic and Marxist political theorist. 
he described postmodernism as the specialization of culture under the pressure of organized capitalism in 1969 jameson co-founded marxist literary group with number of his graduate students at the university of california his well known writings are archaeologist of the future that was published in 2005 it is a study of utopia and science fiction the modernist papers was published in 2007 it is a collection of papers on modernism question number 3 Which among the following statement is not correct about archetypical literary criticism? Option A. It was least popular in 1940s and most popular in 1980s. Option B. It is a type of theory, critical theory that interprets a text by focusing on recurring myths and archetype in the narrative symbol. Option C. in the two other academic disciplines the origin of archetypical criticism is rooted they are socio anthropology and psychoanalysis option d the birth death power and failure are controlled by archetype here option a that it it was published sorry it was popular in 1940s and it was sorry it was not popular in it was least popular in 1940s and most popular in 1980 is the correct option let's see the highlighters archetypical literary criticism or myth criticism it was most popular in 1940s and 1950s largely due to the work of canadian literature critic northrop frye <clears throat> it is a type of critical theory that interprets a text by focusing on recurring myth and archetype is the narrative symbol images character types in a literary work this criticism appeared in 1934 when mod bodkin published his arc arc uh, typo pattern in poetry the birth death power and failure are controlled by archetypes the golden bow a study is comparative religion retitled the golden bow the study in magic and religion in its second edition is a wide ranging comparative study of mythological mythology and religion written by the scottish anthropologist sir james george fraser the origin of archetypal archetypal criticism in the two other academic disciplines the origin of archetypal criticism is rooted they are socio anthropology and psychoanalysis archetypes are recurring ideas images motifs and patterns found in the variety of works other common archetypes are water color sun moon cycles the great mother wise old man etc there are two famous archetypal critics option a carl jung and northrop frye Question number four: Who among the following is not the notable archetypical myth critic? Option A: Philip Wheelwright. Option B: Maud Bodkin. Option C: Thomas Mann. And option D: Francis Forgeson. So here, Thomas Mann is the correct option. Highlighter says the notable archetypal Myth critics include Robert Graves, Francis Ferguson, Philip Wheelwright, Leslie Fidler, 
lot of fire sorry fry modin bodkin and g wilson knight which among the following is not correct about northrop fry here he was a canadian literary, literary critic and theorist fry used the term sentimental and centrifugal to describe his critical theory option c sentimental criticism was that which moved inwards towards the structure of a text option d sentimental criticism moved away from the text and for towards the society here option d is the correct answer that is sentimental criticism moved away from the text and towards the society Let's see the highlighters. Northrop Fryer was born in 1912 and he died on 1991. He was his full name was Herman Northrop Fry. He was a Herman Northrop Fryer was a Canadian literary critic and theorist. He gained the international fame with his first look Fearful Cemetery, which was published in 1947, which led to the interpretation of the poetry of William Blake. Fry used the term centripetal and centrifugal to describe his critical method. Fry stressed the large imaginative patterns from which all literary works are constructed and the recurring importance of literature's underlying archetypes. He asked, what if criticism is a science as well as an art? As per Fry, modern critic describes value of judgment as the donkey carrot of literary criticism. Harold Bloom observed, Fry has earned the reputation of being the leading theoretician of literary, of literary criticism among all those writings in English today. Let's see contribution of this critic. The Great Code was published in 1982 and it was the important work book by Fry based on the novel, uh, sorry, Bible, about the possibility of human enlightenment and freedom through a radical new understanding of the symbolic language of the bible the bush garden essays on the canadian imagination was fry's collection and desperate writings on canadian writing and painting northrop fry's generic plots mentioned about the comic the tragic and the irony fry coined the phrase the Garrison mentality, a theme that summarizes Canadian literature. Centripetal, Fry used this term to describe his critical method. Centripetal criticism was the was that which moved inward towards the structure of a text. Centrifugal. Fry you in centrifugal Fry used this term to describe his critical method. Centrifugal criticism moved away from the text and towards the society. Which among the following statement is not correct about Carl Jung? Option A He was a Swiss psychiatrist, the psychoanalyst who founded analytical psychology. Option B Jung D emphasized the importance of sexual development and focused on the collection collective unconsciousness unconscious sorry option C memories dreams reflections is an autobiography option D the publication of Jung's book psychology of the Unco unconscious in 1912 that led to the unification of Freud with him 
this option D is correct one that the publication of Jung's book Psychology and Unconscious in the year 1912 led to the unification of Freud with him. Up, let's see the highlighters. Carl Gustav Jung was born in 1875 and he died on 1961. He was a Swiss psychiatrist and psychoanalyst who founded analytical psychology and an artist craftsman and builder as well as a prolific writer too. Jung was born in Kessville in the Swiss canton and Thurgau as the second and first surviving son of Paul, Achilles Jung and Emily Presswork. Jung's work was influenced in the field of psychiatry anthropology, archaeology, literature, philosophy, and religious studies. He worked as a research scientist at the famous Borgiolzi Hospital under Eugene Bleuler and he became to the he came to the attention of Sigmund Freud, the founder of psychoanalysis. Zhang Di emphasized the importance of sexual development and focus on the collective conscious, unconscious, the part of the unconscious that contain memories and ideas that Zhang believed were inherited from ancestors. In 1906, he published Di Diagnostic Association Studies and later sent a, com sent a copy of this book to Freud, who had already bought a copy. In 1908, he became an editor of the new founded yearbook for psychoanalytical, the psycho, psychopathological research. While Jung worked on his psychology of the unconscious, a study of the transformation and symbolism of the libido, tension manifested between him and Freud because of various disagreements, including those concerning the nature of libido. Psychology of the unconscious, or study of transformation and symbolisms of the libido, it was republished as symbols of transformation. Jung saw Freud's theory of the unconscious as incomplete and unnecessarily negative and inelastic. According to Jung, Freud conceived the unconscious solely as a repository or repressed emotions and desires. It was the publication of Jung's book Psychology of the Unconscious in 1912 that led to the break with Freud. Memories, Dreams, Reflection, Posthumous in 1962, an autobiography, Jung describes it as a resounding censure. Friends, today we are going to keep our class still here. We will meet in our next video. This video is getting lengthier. Till the time, you please go through it properly. We will meet in our next video. Thank you.